As we approach 7:30 here on this May 1st edition, welcome back to Local 4 Plus. I'm Jason Coulthorpe, and I'm Rhonda Walker. A busy morning of news. We are now learning that there were actually two separate shootings that state police are investigating on two different local freeways. Priya Mann has been following this and been at at least three different uh, scenes this morning, Priya. And as we're getting in a whole bunch of new information, uh, and we'll try and break it down for us. Okay, yeah, Jason, Rhonda, a lot of new information coming into the newsroom in just a short amount of time. As you mentioned, two separate shootings. Let me start with the first one that happened in the eastbound lanes of I-96 just before midnight. Police say they got calls about a semi-truck driver who may have been intoxicated and had a weapon. Police say that that truck driver shot a gun several times at a passenger vehicle. No one was injured in that shooting, and that truck driver took off. At one point, police did have eastbound 96 closed while they were looking for that weapon, which was recovered. That truck driver did end up coming back to the scene and was arrested. That is a 37-year-old man from Georgia. He remains in custody. Now to that second shooting that happened a short time after the first shooting. Here we have a group of people who were leaving the Annex nightclub. We have four people driving in a black SUV. They're on I-375 when somebody opens fire. Two people in that vehicle are hit. One person was killed, the other critically injured. That group makes their way here to Detroit Receiving Hospital, where we saw that SUV riddled with bullet holes parked outside of the emergency room. Police are still looking for the person who fired shots at that vehicle. So again, two separate freeway shootings here. In one case, nobody was injured and a truck driver has been arrested. In the other, you have one person killed, another critically injured, and police are looking for the person who fired that weapon. We will have a lot more on this investigation coming up at noon, but a very busy and sad morning here as one person is killed, another critically injured, and police are now investigating multiple locations on area freeways. Reporting live from Detroit Receiving Hospital, I'm Priya Mann. Local 4.